week 13 of the fantasy baseball season, and he has a few pitches I would look to drop this week. The first guy is Adbert Avalze of the Chicago Cubs, so he's been a pitcher I've been talking about a lot over the last couple weeks, but right now, I think it's time to drop him in fantasy leagues as Avalze on the season for him, 65 and a third. 4-7 and seven record, 52 hits, 33 earned runs, 14 homers, 20 walks, 70 strikeouts, a 4.55 ERA, 1.10 whip and 3 quality starts for the last couple weeks since he returned from injury, 7-2 and two thirds, 0-2 and two record, 8 hits, 7 earned runs, 4 homers, 4 walks, 8 Ks, an 8.22 ERA, 1.57 whip in that time here, so I would say he hasn't gone deep into a ball game now in his last three outings and he's really struggled he's really been getting hit hard and i know the matchups haven't been all that great as well with two out of three of them being versus san diego and the los angeles Dodgers. but right now this cup team that's starting to lose a lot of ball games over the last couple of weeks and i will say he's not helping them at all as well so the last few games for him june 7th at san diego three innings got the loss Five hits, four and runs, a homer, five walks, four Ks, a 12 ERA, 3.33 whip, June 21st in his return versus Cleveland. Four and two thirds got the loss, three hits, three earned runs, two homers, a walk, five Ks, 5.79 ERA, and an 0.86 whip. And then his latest outing at the Dodgers, June 27th, three innings got the loss, five hits, four earned runs, two homers, three walks, three Ks. 12 ERA and a 2.67 whip. So right now, he's mightily struggling here is Alizé. He's not getting bad as out. He's not going deep into games. And right now, in my opinion, he don't really have much fantasy value. And he's already been dropping 6% of fantasy league so far this week. The next pitch is Eric Fetty of the Washington Nationals. So Fetty was a recommended pickup in week 12. But now, he's gone on the injured list with an oblique strain. And plus, he got bombed in his most recent outing was Fetty versus the Philadelphia Phillies before he went down. And these oblique strains, obviously, it's a major injury over the last few seasons. It's using your whole body. You're twisting and torquing, obviously, as a pitcher and pushing off. And right now, he could be out for an extended period of time. And it wouldn't surprise me to see Fetty out until after the All-Star break. So the, on the season for him, 55 and a third, 4-4 four four record, 43 hits. 24 and runs, 7 homers, 25 walks, 50 strikeouts, 3.90 ERA, 1.23 whip and 3 quality starts. So this was kind of a season where Fetty finally got some things figured out here. But now with the injury, it's going to set him back. And this national team had some injuries in their rotation where Fetty was going to stick. But now with the injury, obviously he's going to be out. And the last couple weeks before he went down, 11 innings. No 0-0 record, 8 hits, 5 earned runs, 2 homers, 7 walks, 7 Ks, a 4.09 ERA, and a 1.36 whip with a quality start for Fetty. And the last few outings, June 18th versus the Mets, 7 innings, 2 hits, no runs, 4 walks, 6 Ks, 0.86 whip and a quality start. And June 23rd, like I mentioned before, Philly, 4 innings, he got bombed in that one, but a no decision, 6 hits, 5 earned runs. Two homers, three walks, a K, 11.25 ERA, 2.25 whips. So right now, Fetty, he's banged up and injured. And I think he's an easy guy to stay away from and drop this week and not stash on your injured list. The next pitch is Alex Cobb of the Los Angeles Angels. So Cobb here, he's been back to his old ways now where he's been getting hit hard. He's not going deep into games. And he was pitching well for a few weeks stretch, but now... He's a droppable pitcher once again, in my opinion, on the season for Cobb. 5-3 and three record for him in 53 innings, 52 hits, 30 earned runs, 3 homers, 17 walks, 63 strikeouts, a 5.09 ERA, and a 1.30 whip with two quality starts on the season for Cobb. But the last couple weeks, 1-1 one one record, 9 hits, 6 earned runs, a homer, 3 walks, 11 Ks, a 5.59 ERA, and a 1.24 whip. So right now, he's not going deep into games like I mentioned. And the last two out of three starts, he's been hit pretty hard and given up five or more runs is Cobb. So June 12th at Arizona, three innings, no decision. Seven hits, five earned runs. A walk, three Ks, 15 ERA, 2.67 whip. June 18th versus Detroit, five and two-thirds, got the win. Three hits, no runs in that one. Two walks, eight Ks, 0.88 whip. 
On June 26th, Tampa, four innings got the loss, six hits, six earned runs, a homer, a walk, three Ks, a 13.50 ERA, and a 1.75 whip. So right now, you just can't trust Tom. This Angel team obviously isn't good either, where they're going to score a lot of runs is not going to happen for their pitchers. And right now, Cobb's an easy drop, and he's been dropping 4% of fantasy leagues this week. The next pitcher is Hector Norris of the Philadelphia Phillies. Talk about a pitcher who isn't producing, and talk about a closer who isn't doing anything great this season. But in my opinion, I don't know how he's still owned in 61% of fantasy leagues. After he got destroyed by the Mets a few nights ago, he should have been dropped immediately off rosters and just go find another closer. So right now, like I mentioned, he's in, he's owned in 61% of fantasy leagues is no reason. On the season, 29 and two-thirds, 1 and 5 record, 11 saves, and 6 blown saves for him. 22 hits, 11 earned runs, 5 homies, 13 walks, 36 strikeouts, a 3.34 ERA, and a 1.18 whip. So right there, those numbers aren't horrible on the season, but the last month he's been a total train wreck is Norris. Seven innings, 0-2 record, two saves, seven hits, six earned runs, two homies, five walks, nine Ks, 7.71 ERA, and a 1.71 whip in the last month here. So Norris, he's not reliable. He's not going to be the closer much longer, if at all, here for the Phillies. And it's a total train wreck for saves over there in Philly. One night it's Jose Alvarado, getting a save. Then we saw Archie Bradley versus the New York Mets on Sunday get a save. And now, now Reese, he's just not a guy that I could count on. And like I mentioned, he's been getting hit hard. He's blown six saves. And this Philly team, they could be right up there in the standings instead of six games back because of Reese. So right now, he's a closer. The Phillies don't trust, obviously. And he's a closer fantasy owners shouldn't trust. And a guy they should drop off their team immediately Right now, in the fifth and final pitch, I look to drop this week's another closer, Rafael Montero of the Seattle Mariners. So Montero, he's still owned in 46% of fantasy leagues when he's really not the closer of this season anymore for this team. They got Kendall Graveman and a couple other guys splitting saves. But on the season for Montero, 33 and two-thirds, five and two records, seven saves, 36 hits, 23 earned runs. Two home is giving up 12 walks, 28 strikeouts, 6.15 ERA, and a 1.43 whip. So right now, there's no reason why this guy is still owned in almost half of fantasy leagues. He should be dropped in just about every fantasy league. If you need saves, there's better options out there. And there's guys that aren't going to have ERAs this high. And then the last month, his ERA is an 8.75 as well with a 2-0 record and a save with 15 hits and 11 earned runs. Five walks and ten strikeouts. So right now, Montero, he's getting hit hard. Right now, Seattle, they don't trust him as the closer. And like I mentioned, his last save here for Montero was all the way in the beginning of June. So right now, he's not reliable. He's not a closer. In my opinion, he's an easy drop this week. So that's a few pitches I look to drop here in week 13 of the fantasy baseball season.